captivated by colour. Tourists stopping in their tracks, taken in by the Dunedin artist Jim Cooper's new installation at Otago Museum. One admiring couple even having their photo taken by the artist. Cooper says this collection of work comes after a residency with students in Denmark and then having space to play with his own work. After I'd made the work I just took like six months to play with it in the studio. Not taking it seriously, just arranging and rearranging until mm, I felt that I'd mm, taken what I could from it. The Otago Museum collects and displays ceramics, including work from New Zealand ceramicists. The museum's head of exhibitions and collections, Craig Scott, says Jim Cooper is an internationally recognised ceramic artist and they're pleased to be showing his new installation. Cooper says this collection, called Number no. 9, work made in a number no. 9 year, was inspired by travel. I'd come back from overseas and um, a few experiences that just mean I wanted to pull back from showing and just do what I wanted to do in the studio. Always there's another voice, you know, it's somebody. While retaining his usual exuberance and spontaneity, the exhibition veers away from the cartoonish and sometimes comical figures he's known for. Cooper says his process is born out of chaos without a clear goal of an end result. Because I work in, in a lot of chaos, mm, I like what happens when whatever you're doing blends with your immediate environment. There's a communication that kicks into place and um, you know two or three strings of beads and that drawing on the wall go quite nice together so we'll just make a few more and do a few more drawings and put something on the floor. You know, I like, I like to work in that way. I never have a real plan, I only ever have a start, you know. Otago Museum say they're thrilled to share the work of one of New Zealand's pre-eminent ceramic artists with the public. This free installation will be in place until early August and can be found on the museum's second level. In Dunedin, The South Today.